Post-tropical Debbie. Yeah, Debbie's still out there as a post-tropical storm, really as a low. A big rainmaker for portions of upstate Pennsylvania, upstate New York. Out of our hair, that's important, but for anybody that's traveling, I know we have a lot of northerners that come down here. Uh, you're not missing much. Debbie is out of our hair, but it is impacting those northern states there. We also have a wave that just uh, brewed off the coast of Africa there, and we're keeping our eye on it. It has a 60% chance of development within the next week. Next 48 hours, not so much, but within the next week, we could get the system going. It will move into an environment conducive for development. And looking on the models here, you'll see the GFS and the Euro, the Euro and the yellow. These models are in a better agree agreement than what Debbie was in. It looks like by the time it moves towards the Bahamas, it wants to steer off to the right there and hang out in the Atlantic. There is an area of high pressure, some bridging that's going to help that process. Hey, long as it steers away from us, we could not use another storm back to back. By the way, NOAA did update their outlook. They are still looking at a high outlook. They usually do this. They have the one update in May, the first outlook, and then another one in August. So that came out yesterday. You can still see they are looking at a high number of storms to form. Of course, we're at number four on the list. The next storm on the list would be Ernesto. So if that system, that wave in the tropics right now that we're monitoring does turn into a system, it would be Ernesto. That's the next name on the list.